My name is Greg Jackson, and I'm a mixed martial arts instructor. We train amateurs, professionals, and lots of different organizations, but yeah, there's a, boy, I don't know how many we've got, 20, 25 maybe in the UFC, something like that, it's a crazy number. Definitely the biggest camp in the UFC, for sure. George St. Pierre said one time that I was like the maestro. I'm the guy that, you know, taps and, and plays the symphony in the corner. Yeah, I'm an extra pair of eyes on the outside, so I'm asking them to, you know, watch out for certain things or do certain things, or just reminding that they're in there doing a good job. I do that a lot. And uh, if I do my job right, then cornering's the easiest thing in the world. If I do my job wrong, then I'm kind of the last line of defense to try to save it. And sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. Well, a decision tree can be looked at either microly or macroly, and macro is a lot easier to understand. Macroly, you can say, do I want to throw a left punch or a right punch? That's called a cluster. Well, imagine if you could do certain movement patterns to make that fight predictable. So say, I am going to move in a place where all he can do is hit me with this right hand. So then I'm just waiting for it. And as soon as that right hand comes, I, oh, there it is. I knew it was coming, and then you're ready for it. It gives you that predictability, that gives you that confidence, and that lets you keep the initiative and lets you win the fight. That's a very important concept. So if you start thinking like that, you're not just thinking, okay, I'm going to come out and I'm going to throw two jabs and a right hand, and I'm, I'm going to see what happens. If you're thinking to yourself, I want to put myself in a position that the very nature of his blocking my jab allows me to hit him with a right hand, then you're in a structure where you're maximizing your chances for success. That John Jones Shogun fight, Shogun was covering his hands high a lot, trying to defend his head from John's very powerful strikes. So at one point, John, understanding that, had a decision to either throw a left hook at his head, which was then blocked, or throw it at his liver. So he stepped in and was able to really do some serious damage to the liver because he had done so many shots to the head. That set up predictability in a system, and that's a lot of what clustering is. is it, it makes fighting predictable. Having that in mind, all you're doing is clustering over and over and over. You're just putting yourself in these positions where no matter what they do, they're going to get nailed. The process is the only thing that I own. I don't own that victory. Like the victory is theirs, but the process is mine and the fighters together. Like that's, we share that. Every day we share that. So when we win, I'm happy for about a minute and a half and then I just want to do it again. UFC Undisputed 3, your move.